Hey America, I'm the chef here. Happy fourth, happy birthday. Slam, slam. And happy drink. You know, Dan, a wise man once told me, he said, can't say you've been drinking all day if you ain't start 4 11. 11? He is a wise man. He's a very, very wise man. All right, everybody, so today we're making kebabs and taquitos. And as everybody should already know, Nothing more American than a little bit of Mexican. Oh, ain't that the truth? I know that's the truth. All right, so let's get grilling. Let's get grilling. All right, so we're gonna start off with the kebabs. If you already know how to make kebabs and you wanna skip over to the um, taquitos, taquitos, then go ahead and skip. But So we're gonna start with green peppers, zucchini, mushrooms, crumini mushrooms, um, onto the proteins. We've got marinated beef here and barbecue pollo con pollo. Ah, barbecue chicken with chicken. My chicken. favorite chicken. All right, so let's skewer these up. We're going to go on the grill and we'll see you over there. <laughs> we want the heat. Okay, clickety click, clack, clack. Scooby Doo. Pop, pop. All right, so now we're going to add everything onto the grill. So we've already sprayed the meat. Now we're going to spray the grill just because I like flames and I want to see flames. Now don't do, do, do that too long because you will blow up as in our, uh, one of our last videos, 12% of people explode. I've seen it. We've seen it. Okay, so, you know, we've had the heat rolling for a while. It's really hot. So this is just going to instantly start searing. And it's actually so hot, it's burning my hands from just being near it. <laughs> Who skewered these? <sighs> Let people be people, Jared. Dane, this is Ben Dale Lale, okay? That is a Lale skewer. Murka. That's right, Murka. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. This is so hot. What is that, double meat? What is this? Meat, 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 meat. So, just so everybody knows, this is pollo con pollo, chicken with chicken. And this is pollo con carne. Ay, Dios mío. ¿Qué es eso? Vegetales con vegetales. Okay, now we're gonna go to the actual meat. Also, I just need everybody to know that this is our poor person grill. Um, because we're broke. But it still works and that is the most important thing. Any cooking, are the best. cooking has nothing to do with money. You can make amazing things with very little money. And that, honestly, is the point of this show. Puyo con vegetales. Con mijo. All right, so I just kind of want to go over what we've, what we've done here. Um, you know, the chicken here we marinated in Sweet Baby Ray's because that's probably one of the best barbecue sauces there is out there. Oh, agreed. Um, we did okay. vegetable, meat, vegetable, meat, vegetable. Um, this kind of uses some of the vegetables, uh, like it's got a lot of like liquid and water to it, so it kind of steams some of the meat, which is good. Um, the beef here we have seasoned with or marinated with a teriyaki and a soy sauce. I always use Simpio soy sauce. It's probably the best out there. It's a uh, Korean soy sauce. Um, we did the same with this, just so that the meat cooks really well. Oh, look at those marks. Beautiful grill marks. <laughs> Don't you point at me, Ben. All right, so um, we also used uh, mesquite seasoning on all of them. It kind of really brings out the flavor and uses the salt to um, get deep inside of the meat. Uh, that is from R.L. Schreiber, which is one of our sponsors. and. They have been helping us incredibly with some of our seasonings. Oh, it's so stuck. Well, I guess it doesn't matter how much you spray your grill. It's always going to stick. Dane, help me out here. I don't know how to grill. Oh, I got your brother. I know y'all going to do my 
Mushroom stands. No, there. nobody wants your mushroom stands. Your gross mushroom stands. Get out of here, yours man. Yours up here on the top. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Use this gross mushroom right. stand thing. I don't even know what that is. I can't even with you right now. now. A vegetable. <laughs> Stems are mushrooms too, y'all. Hey. No. You're, <laughs> you're a mushroom, and you're a mushroom, both of you. All right. So we're gonna get all these turned over, and we're probably gonna cook them for about three to four more minutes to check on them and keep flipping them because they will burn on Wait, how many minutes side. did I cook on the beginning? About three minutes, right? Roughly. Roughly. As opposed to softly? Yes. Well, I mean, if you have a timer, use a timer, but if you're not yeah, weird... Timers are for nerds. Yeah, if you're not weird and have to use a timer, then just your best judgment. All right, now we're gonna close this, wait about four minutes, then check and see how they are. Chicken, always cook through. Beef, you can have it medium rare, medium, whatever you want. That's what, true. What's the what temperature did? for cooked chicken, Dane? 165. 165. <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> ben, I love flame. Oh, no flame. <laughs> what was that? Did you just play on? Nothing, I know. How many times no. do we have to go over this? No. Leave the grill alone. No. Let the food cook. No. It actually looks really good. I didn't flame. All right, whatever. I hate it. <laughs> All right, so it's about that time. Chicken looks very cooked. Now You're a chicken. You can, I am a chicken. You can temp it if you want, but Here's how. I know that this is finished. We're going to take it off now. Even the mushroom skewer, Ooh. which I had a piece. It's actually quite delicious. Good job, Ben. Oh. Well, I lost the zucchini, but that's bound to happen. We got our pollo con pollo that's finished. Our veg skewers, we're gonna keep on a little bit longer. That zucchini looks a little raw. But our chicken is finished. Ooh, and baby, I like it raw. Jared doesn't like it raw. Yes, he does. Kebabs are good to go. Now it's time for some taquitos! Slam! Happy fourth, brothers. Happy fourth. <sighs> Alright, so now we're gonna start with our taquitos. Nom, nom, nom. He's over there stuffing his face. I'm gonna get into this. Your face! Save some for me! Your face! Alright, so. First thing we're gonna go over our ingredients. We got green peppers, we got sweet corn, and white onion. I got a little bit of garlic. We're gonna saute with the chicken. And this is diced chicken breast. You can get chicken tenders, you can get chicken thigh, whatever you want. Now we got uh, pepper jack cheese mixed in with some jalapeno cheddar, which is going to be so good, and tortillas. Now we're going to season our chicken with some fajita seasoning from Shriver and some Calgary chicken seasoning from Shriver. Thank you very much. First things first. Cheers. Now, let's get rolling. Alright, so you're going to start off with two saute pans. You're going to need them both oiled or butter. You can Preferably use butter, but I'm butterless at the moment. Yeah, you are. Yes, I am butterless. So, we're gonna cook our chicken first. We're gonna get the pan nice and hot. It's on high right now. We're gonna season our chicken. We're gonna use Your Shriver's chicken. fajita seasoning. Shut up, Jared. So, get that fajita seasoning on there. And Calgary chicken seasoning. And mix this all together. It's fantastic. If you don't have gloves, suck it up and use your hand, but make sure you wash your hand. Or maybe buy gloves. Or maybe buy gloves. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this into our nice hot oil pan and cook it to well done. What is well done? Well done is 165, always for chicken, always. There is never a time when you don't want your chicken at 165. So while we're sauteing up our chicken, we're going to cook our vegetables. Save some time. 
So you're gonna bring it back down to about medium heat so it doesn't burn on the bottom while you're doing your vegetables. So first thing first, for the vegetables, garlic. Throw in your garlic in a nice hot pan. You get this a nice golden brown. Then we're gonna throw in, this is more than you're gonna need, I'm just making a lot. About two cups of corn, one cup of pepper, and one cup of onions. So, you're gonna cook your garlic to a nice golden brown. Add your corn. Add your onions. And add your white peppers. Add your kids. Now you wanna keep this on high heat. It's going to take a while. All right, so it's gonna take a while for all of this to cook together. But this is no seasoning on it, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our salt. Our salt is labeled salt, so you know it's salt. Definitely gonna need some salt. So when this is fully cooked, you're definitely gonna wanna taste it, whether you wanna add more salt or less salt. Now don't forget about your chicken. I'm gonna use that pink spatula, oh yeah. So don't let your chicken burn, make sure that you mix it around so it gets evenly cooked instead of just one side. All right, so we're gonna cook this for probably about two minutes each. So while this is on high heat, you're gonna need to sweat your onions so it gets the flavor incorporated within everything else before you add it to the chicken. So we're gonna come back in about one minute when all of this is done. And I'm gonna put it on a pan, mix it all together, and then we're gonna add our cheese once it's cool. All right, so now that the chicken is done, you see all that juice that comes out from it? We're gonna strain that out because you don't want this in your mix. So we've got a colander, strain that out. While that's straining, you're also going to take your vegetables and strain it too, because there might be too much oil or a little much excess water from the onions or peppers. We're gonna let that strain. And you're probably going to put this on a plate for about five minutes in the refrigerator. Because if you add your cheese right now, it's all going to melt together. You kind of want it to stay whole and not melted throughout it because we're going to wrap it up and cook it again. Okay, so now at this point we have our vegetables and our chicken mixed together. They're just cooled down. I also added the cheese and mixed it all together. So this is our taquito mix. It smells phenomenal. Now taste it before you roll it in there. If it needs more salt or more seasoning, that is up to you. Now, first thing, you're gonna need a pan that you can stick in the oven. So we're gonna take our pan coating. If you don't have it, buy it. It's 4th of July, buy some stuff. So coat this pan. Because when you roll these and put it on the pan, they will stick to it and you will regret it. So, you're going to take your tortilla and put however much you want, but you're going to have to roll this up into like a cigar shape. So you don't want to overfill it. Now, feel free to get your hands nice and dirty. I know yeah, I'm you also, to. We just, Who puts the gloves there? <laughs> Me. So, you're going to pack it nice and tight. Roll it over. Now, you should have a pick. You can pick through it so the ingredients don't come out and it doesn't unravel. But if you can, you can put the last piece that you roll over on the bottom and push it down a little. Now, if you stack them up, if you're making a big party and you make a lot of them, they will stay together. And with the pan spray, it'll get nice and crispy on the bottom and you won't have to use the pick or deal with that. But if you're only making it for you or let's say your family, it's ideal to pick them. So we're probably gonna make about five of them. I have enough mix here probably to make about 30. 
but I love these and I'm gonna freeze them, which you should do if you make a lot. It's a quick and easy meal and or appetizer for any. And if there's anything that Hug the Chefs does, we over prep. Yes, we always <laughs> have a ton of food. So, like I said, you can fill them as much as you want, but you don't want too much or they won't roll properly. And you see, too much. And then I just messed up, so we're gonna throw this one away. Trigger! With the gloves. So yeah, can't be too forceful or you'll break them like I just did. Story of my life. So it seems. All right, so they don't have to be the same size. Roll five, 10, 15, 20, 30, whatever. But at this point, when you start rolling them, you wanna preheat your oven, because right after you're done, you're gonna to wanna to throw it in. So 350, 15, 20 minutes. At 15 minutes, you wanna check them. If they look nice and crispy, nice and hot, take them out. All right, so here's our finished product. These are taquitos. They're best with sour cream and salsa or mixed together, whatever you prefer. Whatever you want. So, with that being said, slam. Slam. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe down below. See you guys next time. Be safe, America.